Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is going to be a timeless collective message. All signs, all placements are welcome. If you find yourself enjoying the content, please go ahead and actually like the video. Leave me a comment and subscribe for future readings, okay? So we're just gonna see what comes up in the energy for you guys, whatever comes out, which you need to know we're starting off with the lover's love oracle okay so clarity confirmation holy spirit for the collective what's showing up in the energy what's approaching what is it that they need to know let's see what's going on with your partnerships okay relationships partnerships clarity confirmation holy spirit for the collective what is it that they are needing to know all right so we have wedding rings we also have healthy choices let's see and we have the phoenix, okay, and heart with the key at the bottom. So wedding rings talks about union, wedding, marry, okay, so connection, eternal love, healthy choices here, uh, making healthy choices and love with life, self-love, self-care, being happier. I feel like a lot of you guys are in that energy. Um, some of you may have like recently separated from some sort of commitment here and now you're just really focusing on, you know, working on yourself, loving on yourself, um, choosing better people and everything else for yourself. And then we have the Phoenix here. It says new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change mind. Yeah, a lot of you guys are in like a, like you're going through a transformation here. I feel like the focus is or it should be definitely on yourself, okay? Um, and making healthy choices, like I said, choosing healthy people for you, etc. cetera. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of like award that's coming here or some sort of like reward that's coming in for you guys. Or there's something that you're... Um, something that you may be trying to heal from or like accomplish or get over. Okay. And I feel like you guys are on the right track to doing so. So let's see. Heart with the key is at the bottom. It says welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. It feels like a lot of you guys are like, um, it's like you're, you're transforming and I feel like there's something new, someone new that's going to come in for you if that's what you're looking for. Um, cause this is in terms of like, you know, partnerships, relationships. Um, but right now it's like you having boundaries and you loving on yourself and you, you know, making good decisions and separating yourself from, you know, people, places, behaviors, traumas, whatever it is that does not serve your best benefit is going to get you, it's going to put you in alignment here uh, with something or somebody very special. Um, but yeah, right now the focus is on you or it should be on you. I feel like a lot of you guys are, are healing and it's like you're learning some sort of lessons. Um, you're making choices that, you know, don't don't put you in the energy of like repeating certain type of uh, patterns or cycles here. So let's just see what comes out in the tarot. Let's see what comes out. It feels like a lot of y'all are like, uh, whether you're in, intentionally doing this or not, by you being in this vibration, it feels like you're attracting um, some sort of like good partnership, good uh, mate, romantic, something here, a good friendship, uh, like-minded people, some sort of tribe or, you know, a person here um, that's going to mesh well with you. So let's see. I'm here in patience. So like someone, I feel like somebody that's very patient, very kind. Okay. Now I'm getting that love is patient. Love is kind. Strength card, Leo energy at the bottom. Okay. Three of pentacles showing up. Let's see. Clarity confirmation spirit. What is it that the collective needs to know? Hermit energy fell out here. Um, so Virgo could be significant. The nine of swords is here too. Um, and I feel like you're moving away from something, someone that like has you in a very, um, had you in a very like anxious state or like something that was like worrying you or it's like you couldn't rest or there was no peace in the situation here. Either you guys are already taking steps to move away from whoever, whatever that is, or that is the guidance here. Okay. That's the goal for you isolating yourself yeah justice i keep getting um some of you guys could be going through a divorce or just like a breakup or some sort of ending or separation but it's so that you can grow something here is stunting your growth or it wasn't allowing you to kind of like really shine or blossom or it was just too much worry here yeah two of cups with the justice card so there's definitely some sort of um break or separation that has happened is happening or may happen in the near future 
Okay, Hermit card again. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for the collective. What is it that they're needing to know? Who or what's coming towards them? What energy are we transitioning into, Spirit? Let's see. Oh, chariot. Okay, so movement here. Positive movement in the right direction. This is also leaving something, leaving someone, moving on mentally, physically, emotionally, energetically. It's like you're on your high horse here. Cancer energy could be very significant, okay? Uh, we have the two of pentacles. This could also be someone coming towards you, whether this is a cancer energy or not, okay? Two of pentacles, I feel like, is you guys right now. Um, this is earth energy, so you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart, but let's see. And we have the four of swords. So it, it kind of feels like y'all might have like one foot in, one foot out of a situation, or like you're trying to figure out which way. It's kind of like a teeter-totter type of vibe, which way you should go, or if you should stay, or if you should go. Or I feel like you're planning your next steps here. It feels like y'all are planning, or you're about to kind of like leave something someone silence a situation go into some sort of like hermit mode or healing or like cutting something off here that's what it feels like um somebody could also be like trying to stop you from moving forward um for from like cutting something off or doing something that brings you the most you know mental peace right now at this time too yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. So this is some sort of like conflict here, whether it's internal or external. I feel like there's something here that isn't, okay, it wasn't working for you or it isn't working for you. Um, whether this be with a friend, a lover, a, a job, a situation here. Um, something here is just not working. I feel like you're trying to figure out how to like move away from this or you already have here. Okay. Or somebody could be wanting to like, um, fight with you. Somebody could be wanting to like fight, argue, bicker with you. Um, or someone's coming towards you. Okay. It feels like somebody like wants to like, fight with you or they they're just in this energy of chaos um and it feels like they're coming towards you guys or they already have either way i feel like the way that you handled it or you're going to handle it um it's going to be in your best benefit but it's it's kind of like somebody here is just like uh disturbed somebody's energy is disturbed here we have the queen of swords i feel like somebody's upset too because like you either like you called them out on their shit or um, it's something about this person that's not, they may be flighty or they may be like very inconsistent or very like lustful here. Yeah. Lustful. Look at the devil that came right behind this, um, Capricorn energy. I feel like y'all like are seeing straight through somebody's BS and they are upset or you already did this and you, you called them out on it and they're upset here. So let's just see what's the five of wands. What's the five of wands. For some of you guys, this is just like a, you know, a forewarning of somebody getting ready to approach you with some bullshit. The five of wands is the ace of swords. I feel like somebody is trying to like get you not to like do something or let go or move forward. Ace of swords, nine of cups. Like somebody's upset because you have or because that's what you're thinking about or this is going to, you know, this is going to happen here. The seven of cups here. Um... I, kind of, I feel like you guys are seeing through someone's illusions too. I just feel like somebody here is just not in the best energy. The five of wands, the seven of cups. Um, and I'm getting like, I don't know why I'm getting fighting temptation or very lustful energy. Somebody here is possibly just not, you know, what you're looking for. Not giving you the consistency, the commitment that you're looking for. Or they're very problematic. Um very much so like argumentative or something like that okay let's see what the chariot card is and i feel like you guys are like choosing to cut that out or again you already have and something about this person cannot like stop thinking about you okay something about this person here feels you know stuck when it comes to you what's the chariot card clarity confirmation the four of wands the page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Like this is, I feel like this is someone that you had some sort of uh, commitment to foundation with. You could have shared a home with this person, was in a relationship with this person, something like that. 
Okay, the Page of uh, Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I think too though, somebody may be kind of like spinning a block, coming back around, um, expecting you to be the same person with them or something like that. But something here is just different. It's, it just changed or it's just not the same. Let's see what the Two of Pentacles is. What's the Two of Pentacles? I also feel like some of you guys uh, could have went back to something or given something like another chance or something like that with the four of wands. Um, but it just feels like you're redirecting, like you're rerouting. The page of cups is here. The knight of swords. And the three of pentacles. What's the page of cups? I do feel like the guidance is too to kind of like ignore something or someone or not feed into it. Okay. I feel like something here, it's just the page of cups. Something is just not giving you enough or giving you what you deserve. Yeah. Look at this. The Knight of Pentacles It's not giving you enough or giving you what you deserve. I feel like what it is, it's like a lot of y'all are tired of like fighting for something or putting in time, energy, effort towards something, someone that's not like reciprocating the energy or something here is very one-sided somebody could be very stubborn or just like cheap with their energy or, or something here like some a lot of y'all are tired of like trying to make something work okay knight of swords and the three of pentacles and instead of doing that it's like you found an easier way to do something or you know you found another energy opportunity you you found something else like you rather just kind of move forward Okay, and work on things by yourself or align yourself with a better opportunity, better job, a better partnership, friendship, whatever this is. Um, the sun card here, more Leo energy. Yeah, seven of wands, the world card, and the four of pentacles here. I feel like a lot of y'all are realizing or you realize that you need to block someone out or you need to stop something. You need to detach or separate from some sort of situation because it's only holding you back with the four of pentacles. Okay. Or it's not giving you what you deserve. Yeah. Something here is definitely like holding you back. Okay. Or dimming your light or it's trying to, or, you know, it tried to in the past, um, or somebody's trying to hold on to you. Okay. Um, but it kind of just feels like the energy is not equally yoked or it's like you're not on the same vibration as this person. Four of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Lovers, High Priestess, Will of Fortune, Moon card. All right, let's see what the Four of Swords is. A lot of y'all could just be realizing like you deserve better or you're, you're worth more in whatever situation that this is. Okay, I feel like somebody else knows that as well. Whoever this is that's trying to, you know, disrupt you or hold you back, whatever this is. What's the Four of Swords? And maybe that's the conflict. I feel like somebody's biggest issue with you is really an issue with themselves for a lot of you guys. Or it just kind of feels like someone you've been trying to work with or something you tried to you tried to work this situation out. Um it's just not working, okay? Or it just didn't work here. Um, and I feel like you're working on manifesting something different. What's the Four of Swords? What's the Four of Swords? There's something coming to like conclude. Yeah, there's something coming to like an ending or a conclusion here. We have the Judgment card. This is Scorpio um, Aquarius energy here. Y'all are calling judgment on something or there's some sort of judgment that's being placed over a situation, whether you are initiating this change, this, this separation, whatever this is, or whether spirit is doing it for you. It's almost like a, like a tower moment effect. Like something is just happening. I feel like, and it's, and it's over or it's changed or it's different, or it's like, you know, you're no longer giving your time and energy to it. Okay. A lot of y'all are realizing a certain person or people are like holding on to you or like riding your coattail or like, you know, draining your energy, your resources. It's, it, it just doesn't feel equally yoked here. The five of swords, judgment, five of swords, um, and the king of cups. And it's giving me the energy I'm hearing, um, better things, the song better things by Sierra. Um, and I feel like you guys are moving on to like a better something, or you have a new passion, 
um you have a new desire you have like there's something else there's there's something more here okay and i feel like you're about to walk into whatever that more energy is ooh, whatever that more energy is for you and this it's an alignment here it's a divine alignment whether it's a romantic partnership a friendship okay um an ideal job opportunity or something like that I feel like there's a cycle that has closed out or it's about to close out because something here just didn't amount up to you. Somebody didn't meet you halfway. It's almost like the time is up on something, okay? Whether you feel like it is or not, whether you say so or not. Um, and there's something very good, very beautiful that is ahead. So I'm gonna leave it there. Leave me a comment below, letting me know how this resonates for you. If you want to claim this reading. Also, if you want to tap into the perks of my Patreon or book a personal reading with me, that's going to be in the description box below.